And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had born to Abraham, scoffing. Therefore she said to Abraham, Cast out this bond woman and her son, for the son of this bond woman shall not be heir with my son, named with Isaac. And the matter was very displeasing within Abraham's sight because of his son. But God said to Abraham, Do not let it be displeasing in your sight, because of the lad, of, because of your born woman. Whatever Sarah has said to you, listen to her voice. For in Isaac your seed shall be, shall be called. Yet I will also make a nation of the son of the born woman, because he is your seed. So Abraham rose early in the morning and took bread in the skin of water, and putting it on her shoulders, he gave it and the boy to her heart, and sent her away. Then she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water in the skin was used up, and she placed the boy under one of the sharks. Then she went and sat across from him at a distance of about a bow shot. For she said to herself, let me not see the death of the boy. So she sat opposite him and lifted her voice and went. And God heard the voice of the land. Then the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said to her, What ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad and hold him with your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw the well of water. And she went and filled the skin with water and gave the lad a drink. So God was with the lad. And he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. An archer. He dwelt in the wilderness of Paran, and his mother took a wife for him and from the land of Egypt. And it came to pass for a covenant with Abimelech. And it came to pass at the time that Abimelech and Fikon, the commander of his army, spoke to Abraham, saying, God is with you in all that you do.